Hi there, and welcome to SimpShare. We are so excited to have you join us, and I cannot wait to share with you all the amazing ways that SimpShare can help you in your online business to save time and to save sanity. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. This is the first page that you will come to when you first log into SimpShare. Now, before we can start scheduling any posts or any parties, we need to do a couple of things to pull in from Facebook where you want to be able to post to. So the first place you're going to want to go is to the second icon down on the left, and it's called My Networks. And we're going to click on My Networks, and it's going to pull us over here into the My Networks page. Now, when you first log in here, the only one that you're going to have is your timeline listed, because that's the only thing that we were able to connect to without reaching out again. So you're going to come up here to the right, and you're going to click on Refresh Networks. When you click on Refresh Networks, it's allowing SynthShare to reach out on your behalf into Facebook and connect to all the different things that your Facebook account is connected to. Now, once you refresh your networks, you're going to see all of your Facebook groups and your business pages uh, populate here into My Networks on the SynthShare My Networks page. So from here, what you're going to do is we need to connect some things. So let's say that first off that you want to be able to post to your timeline. Well, Facebook doesn't allow you to post a set it and forget it post to your timeline. So you can't just schedule a post from here and it'll automatically go. We do have to do something that's called a push notification. So right now your heart right here is probably broken. It says this action is required. So what it means is in order to be able to post to your timeline, you're going to have to get or download to your phone the SynthShare app, whether on iOS or on Android, you're going to download the SynthShare app. It is free to download for SynthShare users, and it only works if you're a SynthShare user. So go ahead and download that app to your phone. And what's going to happen is you're going to schedule a post like normal, which I'll show you in a minute, and the phone is going to receive what's called a push notification, and it's going to be an alert on your phone that says your uh, post for your timeline is ready to go and you open it up and you hit post and it will go but this is how it has to happen from Facebook now this is their requirement but in order to be able to do that you have to um, go and download the app and then when you download the app you're gonna hit the refresh button again and it's gonna make this a solid heart this heart will be teal and then you click it to black and that means that you had favorited it so that you can post on the next page I'm going to show you in a second now your Facebook groups, they're all going to populate in here too, but they're all going to have broken hearts. And a broken heart means that action is required. So I left these alone so I can show you what the action required is. It's going to tell you that you need to go back to your SynthShare groups and each SynthShare group that you want Facebook to be able, I'm sorry, SynthShare to be able to post to for you, you have to go back to that Facebook group and you're going to do these steps. So you're going to go into your group settings and you're going to add app, and the app that you're going to add is SynthShare. So you're going to choose SynthShare. And then that gives us permission to be able to post to your account, uh, to your Facebook group on your behalf. So that's Facebook's new rules because they want to protect their users and so they make sure that you actually grant permission to the app to be able to do that. Now, like I was saying, this is in every single group that you're going to be using and posting to SynthShare, using SynthShare. But the great thing is it literally takes a couple of seconds to go in there and grant permission to the app. And just think about all the time it's going to save you to allow SynthShare to post on your behalf and that you don't have to do it on your own manually all the time. So once you have connected it and you hit the refresh button, so each time you do something, you hit the refresh button and it'll populate in here and show it as done. So then you'll have a teal heart and then you click it to the black slash navy and that will allow you to post on it later. And you're going to do that for your business page too. So once I have clicked these to the navy, when I come over here to my schedule a post page, you will see that all of those ones that I clicked with the Navy heart, they are all here for me to be able to post with, which I love. That makes it so simple, right? So that's awesome. So I'm going to take you back over here one more time to your My Networks page and show you something, one more thing. So these little eyeballs here, let me show you what they're for. They are to do what's called hide 
a network. So let's say that you have a lot of old Facebook groups or things that you admin and you're like, Ugh, I don't want that whole list there. You can click the eyeball and it will hide that network. So I can click on the eyeball and it makes that network go away, but didn't go very far because I can come up here to this other eyeball again and click show all and it will come back and it will show me all of the ones that I have removed. So you can see how many I have removed. I have hidden all of those so that I don't have to scroll through like this all the time. I just have the ones that I want. So if I click the eyeball from teal back to blue and then come back up here, it will only show me the ones that I need. They're just the ones that I want to have. So this is how you set up your networks. You have to do this first. You can also connect to Twitter. You can connect a Twitter account up to five Twitter accounts. You can connect up to five Instagram accounts if you wanted to. Now here's what's cool about those is you can use them. They'll show up over here on your um, schedule a post page. So they're down here at the bottom, Instagram and Twitter. I can schedule to those. But when you're here on my networks, Whatever you are logged into here on this computer, whatever Twitter account you are logged into is the Twitter account that your Accenture uh, account will link to and link up with. Whatever Instagram account you are logged into on your computer is the one that it will log into and connect with. So if you want to put up multiple ones, you're going to have to set up one, then go back over to Twitter.com, log out, log into the next one, come back over here and connect the next one. So we can only reach out and connect to what you are already logged into. But you can set up all of those here. And like I said, you can have up to five Twitter accounts and five Instagram accounts if you're managing multiple accounts. So coming back here for this overview, this is your schedule of post page. This is where you're going to type your post messages, what you want to say. This is where you're going to upload your, your photos. Down here is where you can save those things you're uploading into different folders, which I'll show you in a second. And then over here is you're going to choose the date and time that you want things to post. You will choose your, your uh, time zone. Your time zone, when you first signed it for Censure, you chose your time zone. So, But if you need to change it to another time zone for a party that you're doing on the West Coast or the East Coast or something, you can do that. And then down here is where you click to post to whatever a network that you want to. If I want to send it to this group and this group and my business page, I can do that if I want to. And then once you schedule it, it'll show up over here just as a way that you can review what you're scheduling. So this all happens on the schedule a post page. So we already did my networks. The next thing here is called text clips. Now text clips are awesome. It's like a signature line on your email. And what it does is it allows you to take things that you type over and over and over again and put them into basically a signature line. So for example, like here's a hashtag bundle. If I wanted to put this at the bottom of all of my posts, I could do that. If I was having a party and I wanted to make sure at the bottom of every party post, I put um, Susie's uh, party link, I could do that. So where you find, this is where you set them up. You hit create new text clip and you can create a new one. And where you use those is back on the schedule of post page. You will see this text clip button and I can drop it down here. And I can say that I want to put this in the bottom of my post and see how it automatically adds that. So I don't have to type it out every single time, which is so incredibly nice. So that's what text clips are. This is your post library. We have an entire training playlist on YouTube that walks through every step of the post library. But I just wanted to show you really fast. You have a saved tab, which are all of your folders and you can put subfolders inside of folders and you can put subfolders inside of subfolders. So it's a really great way to manage your content and what you're doing. Pending is everything that you have pending to go out and I'll show you the date and time you have on pending. History is everything that you've ever posted in SentShare is right here and it's also broke down into sub uh, categories too, but everything you've ever posted in SentShare will show up right here. We don't delete anything unless you delete it yourself or if you close your account, then we do, you know, delete it all then. But everything is here at your fingertips, your saved, your pending, and your history. Then this one here is another great one that I'm excited for you to get to look at, and this is the user guide. Every single feature that we have is here inside the user guide. And the way that we have it set up is great for all types of learners. If you are someone who likes to read, read how things work, you can come here to how to schedule a post in SentShare, and it will literally walk you through 
with with words and with little pictures on how to do something. But if you are someone who is like, oh, just show me, then we have video tutorials for every single one of the features too. So you can click on videos, come over here, and it will take you to a video link of how to do each one of the features also. So every single thing that we have inside Accenture is right here inside your user guide and it lives right here inside your Accenture account. So you can literally walk through one by one by one and learn how to use the entire SynthShare system. And then make sure that you join our community Facebook group, which is uh, Social Cinch Club, S-O-C-I-A-L-C-I-N-C-H, and then Club, Social Cinch Club. It's a Facebook group, and we are in there every single day answering questions, providing great content and great training tips for social media. So come and check us out. And again, welcome to SynthShare. We are so excited to have you. And if you ever need help, you can always reach out to us using the help button in the upper right hand corner of your account. Just click on help and you can submit what's called a trouble ticket. You can submit that right to us and we will totally help you. And if you have a screenshot of something that's not working and something you don't understand, include the screenshot down here at the bottom. I can't get the screen to roll down for you, but down here at the bottom and you can put that in there and we will get right back to you and help you get it all straightened out. Thanks so much for being here and checking this out, guys.